So what are the five things you should know about CISSP boot camps? I'm Christian Espinoza with Alpine Security, and that's the topic of this video. So first off, what is the purpose of a CISSP boot camp? The purpose is very simple, is to get you to pass the exam as quickly as possible. Some people lose sight of the purpose, and they think the purpose of the course or the boot camp is to make you an expert in the topics discussed in the course or the eight CISSP domains. But the purpose is basically to get you ready to pass the exam. This doesn't mean you just like go over brain dumps, but it means you don't have time to go into great levels of detail on specific topics such as, such as cryptography or software development, etc. You have enough time to go over the level of detail you need for the exam because the exam is really a mile wide and an inch deep, as they say. So again, the purpose of the boot camp is to get you ready to pass the exam. Something else I want to mention, when you take a CISSP boot camp, you sort of temporarily have to suspend reality. The reason I mention that is because a lot of the stuff on the exam may not match up with the way you're used to doing things in your work environment. And it may not match up at all with how things work operationally or in the real world. But you have to suspend your belief about reality and sort of like take in the ISC squared Kool-Aid or drink the Kool-Aid as they say uh, until you pass the exam. Otherwise, you're constantly going to be getting questions wrong because you haven't adapted the ISC squared perspective on certain topics. So there's no point in arguing about that. Just drink the Kool-Aid, accept the way ISC squared wants you to learn something, pass the exam, and then you can go on and forget about that and do it the real way later on. The second item about boot camps, the th second thing you should know, is a boot camp is, desire, is designed to give you an immersive experience. That's why they call it a boot camp. You're supposed to be immersed in the CISSP information. So typically, when you go to boot camp, it is from like eight in the morning till five at night or somewhere in those windows. And afterwards, the idea is you should be studying each night not just going on doing something else. You should be focused as much as you can on the material and immersed in the material. Again, the purpose is to help you pass the exam. Ideally, you've done some preparation before you show up for the boot camp, though. Now, the third thing is a boot camp is supposed to be all inclusive, and the definition of all inclusive varies based on the provider, but the idea is there's less things for you to worry about uh, depending on your needs and how many distractions you want to get rid of. Some boot camps provide the uh, hotel for you, maybe a shuttle to the facility, maybe even lunch, snacks, maybe even dinner, etc. But the idea is you have less things to worry about so you can focus on the exam. Depending on your budget and how many distractions you want to eliminate can determine what type of all-inclusive experience you encounter. Uh, the fourth thing is information packed. So the CISSP bootcamp is a lot of information. A lot of people say it's like drinking from a fire hose. There are eight domains. It's very broad, not very deep. It's a lot of stuff at a surface level. So you have to be prepared to digest a lot of information in a short amount of time. That's why if you have trouble digesting information very quickly, I recommend you do some preparation, some study before you sit through a CISSP bootcamp. That way it's more of a refresher, not brand new information you're trying to absorb in a week's period of time. Uh, the fifth thing is a bootcamp should really include practice exams and they should be part of the bootcamp, not just like exams you go home and take, but exams where at least for a certain period of the day when you're with the trainer and your fellow students, that you go over exam questions. And this is important because the trainer can help dissect the questions and the answers and help you understand why you got one of them wrong, for instance. It's very important to do as many practice, practice exams as possible to prepare you for the CISSP. I recommend like 50%, like five zero percent of your time be spent on practice exams. From my experience, the people that have not passed the CISSP have typically spent their time only studying and not doing practice exams or not studying and doing anything at all. One of those two categories. 
the people that have spent most of their time, or at least 50% of their, of their time, doing the practice exams tend to fare better on the exam. It's important to understand how questions are asked on the exam because the CICSP exam, they, they may give you a scenario, you have to dissect the scenario, figure out what they're really asking, eliminate the distracting answers, and then maybe focus on the best two and then be able to isolate it to one answer. And one of the other challenges people have on the exam is that the answers are often like, choose the best answer. So technically, two or three of the answers may be correct, so you have to choose the best answer. So it's important to get used to seeing those sort of questions and get used to eliminating the distractions, et cetera. So 50% of your time should be spent on practice exams, and that should be part of the boot camp. So just a quick review, the boot camp's purpose, number one, is this is the first topic we talked about, is to prepare you for the exam, not to make you an expert on the material. It's also to get you ready for the exam as quickly as possible. Uh, so drink the IC squared Kool-Aid, prepare for the exam, pass the exam. Number two is supposed to be immersive. So you're supposed to focus for that period of time on the boot camp only on ISD squared material, eliminate as many distractions as possible. Number three, it should be all inclusive and then the degree of all inclusive varies to your needs, but the whole idea is you wanna eliminate distractions so you can focus and monotask on only studying the CICP material so you can pass the exam. Four, it's information packed, a lot of information. You have to digest it very quickly, drinking from a fire hose, do some preparation before you show up and be prepared for long days. So you sit through the class during the day, at night you go home and study every single night and do practice exams. It's not like a nine to five sort of thing. It's a boot camp. And the fifth thing is practice exams. Make sure you do many, many, many practice exams. And when you're selecting a boot camp, make sure they cover during the day at least some practice questions. So therefore you can get uh, some time with the trainer to dissect the questions and the answers. Thanks for watching. Best of luck on the CISP exam. Best of luck choosing the CISP boot camp. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them beneath the video. Please subscribe to our channel as well. And if you're interested in taking one of Alpine Security's boot camps, I'll put the link beneath the video to our CISP boot camp. Thanks. Have a great one.